Hey friends, Daniel here with the Leap Ages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Have you ever been working on a Leap Page in your account and thought, there's something I really want to draw attention to. Like say for example the content showing here on my Leap Page I have pulled up. Or maybe I want to create a box to draw in a visitor's attention. During today's tech tip, I wanted to talk to you about columns, which will help us in accomplishing this goal. So let's go ahead and dive into the page layout. Let's click into the section we're working in, which is our hero section, and then click into each of our individual columns. So I'm gonna start with column one, that's our column here on the left, where I'd like to highlight this content. So I'm gonna click into column one, and I see right away that I get the option for background. And my first option here is a color. So I like to select a color to create a box effect around this, making it stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the color circle where I can go ahead and select from any of my brand colors from my account or any of the page colors. Now, if any of these colors here aren't what I'm going for, that's okay. I can go ahead and add a color. I can use this slider bar to slide through the colors, select what I want, and then go ahead and use this opacity to make it lighter or all the way dark. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit lighter here. Now we do have this color code option here. If you do know the color code of the specific color you're going for, you're certainly welcome to enter it in here instead. Once I have what I want set, I just go ahead and click out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into column two to talk further about the settings that we see in columns. So let me go back and go to column two. For column two, I want to add an image to make that stand out. So I'm going to click on add an image and this will allow me to select from any of the images I've uploaded into my account already or upload a new image from my device. I'm going to go ahead and select an image that I've already uploaded here and insert that. Now once I do this, you'll notice that there's a few more options that become available to me. I have sizing if I want that to fill the container, fit to container, or auto size for me. I'm going to move this back to fit to container right now so I can show you alignment where we have the options of top, center, or bottom. Now we have the option to repeat that background horizontally, vertically, both, and not at all. I'm going to put this back to fit to container now. Now as we continue to go down here, we see we have an image color overlay. So in having an a color overlay on top of this background image that I've selected. So let's go ahead and select one here to take a look at it. Again, this looks very similar. We have brand colors and page colors. I can select any that are here or I can go ahead and add. And I'm gonna do a color that I want that makes it stand out just a little bit more. So I can use that gradient slider and slide that just as such or enter in that specific color code. Again, just as before, once I have what I want set, Go ahead and click out of it. Now, as we continue forward in the column, we have some more settings that are available. Margins, paddings, and arrow border. So let's go through those now. Margin is gonna help with the column itself. If I take a look at this, and let's go ahead and adjust it on this column two over here to see what happens. If I move that top, you'll notice it brings it down for me. And I can do the same with left, so create some space in between the two columns. With right, bring it in, and bottom where I can go ahead and bring it up. Now we do have padding, and this will affect the widgets that we have within our column. So I have some widgets in here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Let's go top. It'll move those widgets accordingly, right? So I'm gonna go left and right, and bottom, and you'll notice it kind of shifts things for me. Now my last setting that I have here is the option to add an arrow. And I have the ability to do so here on the right, bottom, and left, or not at all. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Let's go ahead and add one on the right. You'll see I have an arrow that appears here. Bottom, if I want to draw the eyes down, put it on the bottom, and then left, where it kind of connects these two. Now again, I can set this to none. I do hope that this was helpful and thanks so much for joining me for today's tech tip.